Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Brooke. And this is Coffee Talk. Uh, today we're going to be um, talking about our wedding and a few other very interesting things. Go ahead and uh, hold on and we'll be right back and we'll get started. Well, welcome back. Um, that was quick. That was quick, yeah. But yeah, we're... Um, okay, first of all, we have a confession. This isn't coffee talk. This is chai tea talk. Tonight. Absolutely chai tea talk. Absolutely chai tea talk. It was getting a little late for coffee, so, so we thought we'd switch to chai, even though there's caffeine in, in the chai. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of... So it's, it's tea talk. Tea talk. Tea talk, but coffee talk, because you can get this at the coffee house. But we That's got ours from McCurig. Ain't no shame in that. <laughs> no shame in the Keurig. No. Anyway, um, we have some announcements about our wedding. Yes, we do. We're getting married. We're getting married, October 20th. And um, we have the girls all committed. My, uh, well, Haley, uh, my sister slash niece. Anyway, um, and then she said yes, and then uh, three of my girlfriends from college, uh, Angie and Jody and Trisha, they have said yes. And then we have my matron of honor, which is Kay, mm -hmm. and then uh, that's kind of, we've got... That's, you got that, and then I've got, um, I'm dealing with Steve Castaneda, her... Uh, Dad, brother. Dad, brother, <laughs> yeah, is my best man. And then um, I have all of her brothers in the in the wedding as well. Um, Brody, Alex, James, and Scott, and Travis. Travis. They're all in the wedding. Um, and that, so that's kind of settled. And my friend, and oh. my friend Eric, Eric, um, he's going to be there. He's uh, got some medical issues going on right now, and we're not quite sure what's going on next year. But I'm hoping, hoping he's. Uh, well enough to be in our wedding next year. We really looking this year. Wow, it's really coming up fast. But anyway, we're with that. Oh, and then I have a personal attendant. Yeah. Uh, my good friend Kara, who is the mother of our flower girl, um, is going to be my personal attendant slash help coordinator guru. Help me through this. Make so, sure she survives the day. Yeah, the day and the, and, day and, and, the... and the weeks for coming <laughs> yeah. prior. So, so but yeah, um, it's all coming together. We've we've we're trying to we're, we're gonna start working on a list very soon, possibly this weekend. Of not the whole internet. Not the whole internet. The whole internet is not invited to the alley that might hold 150. So um, <laughs> we're 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 gonna have to do some paring down too on budget too, so just because simply. I don't, we want this huge, gigantic wedding, and at the same time, huge, gigantic wedding might not be the, in the budget, but we'll, we have a lot to discuss about this. Okay, first of all, we have lots to discuss. Like, hmm, we had a great idea of tailgating. Everybody just brings <laughs> food, breaks well, some breaks some meatballs. Breaks some meatballs, some weenies, um, some bring, nachos. Bring your own drink. Actually, Rick thought of, like, let's have uh, people, let's get a bunch of sodas, and we'll just... Uh, two dollars a pop. Everybody could buy. Everybody can buy a soda. And then we thought, hey, let's just charge people to come. A cover twenty dollars a person for our reception. Yeah, I mean, let's make some money here. That's right. Why so, are people doing that? I know. Start new trend. Start new trend. We are going to have a cover charge. It's a party. Yeah. It's going to have a dance. We're going to have all this stuff. Right. So it's basically a party club. Well, what's we got to find an address? We'll, we'll call it a club. It'll, it'll be a, it'll like be a club on a certain night. We'll be promoting our wedding slash club night, and then anybody with twenty bucks can get in. <laughs> per person, per person. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. We don't. That's not definitely not going to happen. But maybe. Um, maybe yes. Um, but we're we're still not decided on food at all. We haven't really done much of anything with that. We need to start thinking about that. 
I need I need to start thinking about that actually. That's his. Well, we need to find numbers to find out what we can afford. So that's the very next thing is is paring down somewhat of a round figure of numbers and going from there. I think that's the conversation we have to have this weekend. Um. Speaking of numbers, are we done with the wedding? Yeah. So we have a number. One. Because it was our first, first val- 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 Valentine's Day. You go with anniversary. <laughs> it's not our val- first anniversary. I meant Valentine's Day. It's our first Valentine's Day together. It was, it was last night. Last night. We were going to do a coffee talk. Coffee talk. Coffee talk. But uh, um, we may have done pizza gifts and someone may have fallen asleep. Yeah, I fell asleep last Oof. night. I was I had been up, and I woke up at like two o'clock in the morning. And I I don't get regular sleep. My sleep patterns are kind of screwy. So I I'm up early, and sometimes I go to bed early. Sometimes I'm up late. Sometimes I'm up late and wake up early. I really don't have a set pattern in my sleep schedule, but yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, it was it was it was great. It was we great. Yeah, pizza from a, a local uh, new. Place Mike's. Sorry, I had a little burpee. Mike's. We went there earlier this week. Um, and they've started like a little deli thing, and uh, we ordered pizza. And um, they had this really good burger when we went in a couple nights ago. It's called the Beacon Burger. And I don't normally eat hamburgers, and it really did upset my stomach. But I kind of felt like eating hamburger, so I went out and did it. And I knew that I was gonna get the Beacon. I did, well, not the beacon. I knew that I was going to get sick because of the burger. Oh, it yeah. kind of when I eat a burger, 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 bubble burger, um, I uh, know that I'm going to get sick. So um, I went out and did it, and I got sick, and I'm um, still kind of recovering from that. But the burger itself, I love hamburger. <laughs> I love good hamburgers. This is a really good hamburger. Good. It was kind of a, a grilled. Pa- grilled and then pastry wrapped with Thousand Island dressing. And pickles, pickles. And, onions, and onions in it. Fabulous. It was and really, it was really like fried. Deep fried. So it was like puffy. Like a little. Really bad for you. Really awesome. It was but bad for you. Bad for you. And then I had I had to top that off with an order of chicken livers. Because I don't know about you. Where I come from, chicken livers are thought of like awesome. So if you like chicken livers, leave me a, leave me a message. What, what, chicken livers, yay. Or chicken lovers nay. Nay. Mm-hmm. We go I'm ahead. Team nay. Yeah. Nay, well, nay. W- 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 yeah, we've got to decide that. So, so if, you, if you like chicken livers, leave me a comment. If you don't like chicken livers, leave me a comment. Leave us a comment about our chicken livers experience. Um, and whether you would eat a bacon burger. The like, bacon yeah. burger, yeah. The bacon burger, yeah. But, yeah. It well, there's good. a town called Beacon. Oh, really? So, I think that's why it's named Beacon Burger. Oh, heavy. Yeah. Heavy. All right, well. That's um, Mike's dream. Yeah. <laughs> That's Mike's dream, yeah. They also have, we didn't get it, but they have a um, Philly cheesesteak pizza. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen those before. What right. they, have, they have a homemade tender one on their menu, too, that they make in-house. So that's going to be something I probably will try again. I'm trying to stay away from meat, though. I, I, I've been really, really struggling with this for a while, but whether I'm going to be, um, what I'm going to do with meat. I can eat fish and have no problems. I can eat chicken and be somewhat okay. Pork, I'm iffy, and um, beef definitely is a no-go, and I still have to try it every now and then because I'm a glut for punishment. But, you know, my, I don't know, just getting older, I guess. I don't discriminate against. <laughs> I would like to be a ribeye. Go I, ahead. I really like vegetables, so um, I could be vegan, but it's really hard to do with two people who aren't vegan because you're buying two separate diets, and that's rough. So I, I don't, like vegetables. I like I vegetables. I like buying bloody steak. Not bloody. You like bloody steaks. Oh, I like bloody steaks. I like mine with a hint of pink. Not all the way. I don't want it mooing. But I need some pink in there. I need like medium. Yeah. Well, um, what else are we, were we going to talk about today? We had Valentine's Day, and then we. Um, I started uh, walking today. 
You did? I started walking. I, I mean, what, the did first... you go to the mall? No, I didn't go to the mall. That's tomorrow. I thought you went to the mall. No, no, no. I actually walked around, walked around the neighborhood. Oh. And I did a half hour. And for a guy, I don't even know who he is. For, for a guy who had, couldn't <laughs> walk more than 150 yards at most, a half hour, mile, a mile and a half walk was pretty darn good. Well, I wondered why you like called, you texted me, and you're like, "Oh, I just walked a half an hour." I was like, "That was just, I just left a half so, hour ago." Yeah, yeah. So I, I just, didn't know how he got to the mall. I went and walked through the cemetery and walked down to 11th Street, and then walked into the cemetery, walked back around, and then up again, but. Um, and it was it was an experience. My legs are really sore because I haven't been able to do anything like that for so long. But it was nice. It's nice. It's a good feeling to do that again. Um, Brooke got me an Apple Watch for Valentine's Day, so she hooked me up with a heart rate monitor and the step monitor deal. And um, we're waiting for a band that'll actually fit it and um, fit my wrist. And uh, then we're, we're good to go, but I'm so stoked to have an Apple Watch. Thank you so much. Um, speaking of the, of the, uh, um, the YouTube channel, we're... We weren't speaking of it. Well, we are speaking of the YouTube channel. <laughs> we are speaking of the YouTube channel. We are now. The Corn, the Corn Life Network is grown to just about 30 subscribers. Got to thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing that. It's amazing. We've got to get to a thousand by the end of the year. So we're starting there. Considering I started this on January fourth, um, I've come a long way. Um, so 30, 30 subscribers in a, a little over a month is a pretty big deal. Yeah. And um, we're stoked about that. I mean, I'm, I'm so stoked that I actually am reaching people. I'm meeting people on YouTube that uh, through networking. <clears throat> Excuse me, because ne- cause YouTube is kind of a, um, it's a family of sorts. People network together to get their channels exposure and stuff like that. So you get to meet people. Like there's a girl, um, I've been following her. We just met on YouTube a couple of days ago. She, her, she, she goes by the name of Missy Chrissy. She's crazy. She's absolutely funny and off the hook or funny. She's awesome. Um, and she's new and she's her, her videos are new and getting exposure to. And there's a guy, I believe his name's Steven, I don't remember his last name. It's on, on the tip of my tongue, but he's a Christian guy, which I, I appreciate. And um, he taught me how to make tangerine tea today with honey and tang- cool. tangerines things. So, yeah, he's cool, and he's starting to learn. He's learning from me. I'm learning from him. Um, it's a learning experience. I always thought that, that, you know, I went on YouTube to learn, but now I'm actually learning, and people are learning from me, too. So it's a really cool experience to actually say, hey, that was a really good idea. How did you do that? And I'm able to explain to them how I did it, you know, through text or whatever. And it's kind of neat because, I mean, I learned from Ben Grady. The by grave, wa- Gravester. The Gravester. The Gravester. Grave, the grave, you know, I'd appreciate that. But uh, I learned from Ben Grady and um, by watching his vlogs for over a year. And um, I, I watched him progress. And I, I, I went back and watched his vlogs from a year ago. And I was like, man, Ben, your vlogs are so much better now than they were a year ago. And that's probably going to be like, whereas for me, the bar has been raised by him for me now. And then somebody else who's starting is starting to say, hey, I want to do YouTube videos. I want to teach people stuff. Like the Stephen guy, he's he's actually reading the Bible online every night. He read 10 verses out of Genesis last night. And he talked about Genesis. And... um uh, so that was cool, and then he he also talks about gardening and stuff. So he's got a lot of different varied industry, very varied interests. He lives in San Diego, so it's, he surfs and has skateboards and stuff, and just a fun experience. And um, then I've got the, the 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 group of guys and and uh, that started watching, and I've been watching for about a year now. Um, well, Ben has two brothers, Hob, who does Hob Life. And Hob is a guy who um, you can find all these guys on my uh, my YouTube channel. They're li- they're linked on the side on the channel page. Is the best YouTubers out there? Um, ben Gray, number one. He's a great guy. Love Ben. Um, his brother Hob. He is a is a mad stuntman. Him and both of his brothers, Hob and Tucker. Tucker Upper. Um, Tucker has a and, and Hob does uh, striking. Drift triking. You've never seen drift triking. You got to check it out. It's crazy. It's super hard, and they go flying down hills, dodging 
cars and stuff like that and sliding on. They have tri tricycles with PVC wheels. So they slide. Crazy. But he's just, they're, they're, both him and Tucker are trained stuntmen. Tucker is a, got a scrap life channel where he's actually, um, he scraps things, takes them to the scrapyard and makes his money that way. And he does really well. That's a really big thing on YouTube, scrap life. Um, and how, how guys scrap metal and stuff. It's, it's amazing. But I've got those guys and a bunch of other people I've been on, on, online through that. And it's really become a small community. Um, and I, I, I really appreciate it. And it, if you want, it, please check it out. Um, if you're, if you're watching this right now and you haven't subscribed, subscribe, at least come to the channel page. Um, just don't click on the link, but go to the Corn Life Network channel page. And if, I, I encourage you, I love YouTube as a platform. And there's a lot of stuff on YouTube that, of course, it's questionable, but YouTube is really making strides. With this new plan they have, with having 1,000 subscribers and 10,000, or excuse me, 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours required before monetization is going to weed out a lot of people because the prior requirement was just 10,000 views. So you get 10,000 views, you're good, you're getting monetized. So now it's going to weed out all these gaming channels and stuff like that that really don't have a whole lot to offer. They want to offer news, they want to offer education, they want to offer all these things. And that's what advertisers really want to go after. And while those videos will still remain on YouTube, um, the growth potential for channels like mine and Brooks are uh, extremely high because we're, we're showing up on the algorithms, like the Dead Mall series that I've started, those are showing up very high in the algorithms for Dead Malls. The, um, this channel is actually showing up under Love Story. I tag it with Love Story. Under who? We are right underneath um, Taylor. Taylor Swift. So we're actually making strides and people are seeing our content. It's the subscribers that we need. So come out, take a look at the channel. Um, I'm, I'm going to work on a video for tomorrow, a video thing for some people who haven't subscribed. We're going to see a video for subscribers tomorrow. I'm starting to work on some new thumbnails and stuff so the videos stand out. It's really, really a strong effort to make to be a YouTuber. Uh, Brooke is officially a Dodgers fan. I have a hat too. This is one of my gifts that I got this month. Yeah. The Fly the Pennant. Not the W, but the Pennant. Chicago can fly that W all they want. Hey, we need subscribers. <laughs> they can fly that W all they want. We'll fly our Pennant. That's okay. Rolling. Hello? And we're back. Somehow it died off in the middle of uh, a major rant about the... Oh, gosh, I hate it when it dies. Especially in the middle of a rant about the uh, Los Angeles <laughs> Dodgers and the, and the Cubs. So, I don't know what he's doing back here. What is he doing? He's, like, climbing. <laughs> Look at him. He's, like, the cat is going crazy. He's a little bonkers. He's crazy. He's, like, attacking the chair. And it, b before we... Die with our t cat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't know what he's doing. Come on. Get a little wild. Crazy. I think maybe he's trying to attack me. I don't know if he saw a shadow. I wonder if that's what it was. Oh, yeah. He was like seeing shadows. Look, this is what he was doing. Like, <laughs> I'll mix this sound the footage. You're going to fall off, cat. Anyway, it was kind of amazing. <laughs> well, and now he's just like chilling behind my. Like, he won't even move. Like he's like frozen, like a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Want to start over again? No, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like if you guys could have seen that.
<laughs> do it again. It was awesome. Was it? Yeah. He was like, wah, wah. like all over the chair, like climbing all over and attacking it, like it was a live human alive. thing. Alive. I'm scared. Know. He's gonna attack my back next. He's done that before. I know. <laughs> all right well we're gonna say good night and uh from all of us here at the corn life network and at coffee talk and chai talk and chai talk good night good night <laughs>